What is a continuous handrail? That would be a handrail that starts at the bottom and goes all the way up to the top. And in buildings that might have access to the public, like a shopping center here, it might need to extend past the top and bottom step. And that measurement is usually going to be 12 inches. However, you would need to check with your local building department to verify that information. Now, keep in mind that this is not a guardrail. This is a grippable handrail. And the reason why a guardrail isn't required here is because the soil is almost even with the stairway. If it was 30 inches lower than the top of any part of the stairway, then you might need a guardrail. A guardrail is meant to prevent people from falling off the side of the stairway. A grippable handrail is used for people to hold onto while they're walking up and down the stairway. Next up, let's take a look at a stairway that uses the top of the guardrail as the grippable handrail. And you can see that it's continuous. It's going around the wall. There are no breaks in the continuous handrail. And in our last example, we're going to take a stairway that's pretty common, one that goes up to a landing and then up to the next level. And in order for the handrail to be continuous, it's going to need to be within 34 and 38 inches off of the top front edge of the stairway. And this will include if you have a guardrail where the minimum height of the guardrail falls within between 34 and 38 inches, then you can shape the top of the guardrail to use it as a grippable handrail. However, if it doesn't, for example, where I live, the minimum height for a guardrail is 42 inches. So the handrail is going to need to attach to the side of the guardrail or the side of the wall, whatever will work better for the project. So you can see here where it's continuous, if I remove a section, it's no longer going to be continuous. And a lot of people think you can run a handrail up to a landing and then run it up the next section of the flight of stairs to where both of them will be separate. And in some cases, you will be allowed to do that. But you're going to need to check your local building codes to verify whether or not you can use two separate handrails or whether they need to be continuous. And thanks for watching. To learn more about home building and repairs, visit us at our website. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. See you next time.